Hey guys, it's Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today's video is gonna be on H. pylori and the connection between energy and mood issues. I see it all the time in my practice. We'll dive in. Again, before we do, smash that like button, really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications of future content. Also, put down in the, in the comment section what your experience with H. pylori is and was. Really curious to know about that. All right, so let's dive in. H. pylori, it's a bacterial infection. It can create uh, gut infections and inflammation in the gut, and it can affect mood and energy via different ways. So we're gonna go into that. So what does H. pylori do to your gut? That's the first question. So here is, this is your stomach, and we have the different layers of the stomach. We're gonna just draw this layer right here of the stomach. And what H. pylori does, it's a helico-shaped bacteria. So it's like a helix. It's kind of like this, and it can screw into the intestines, just like this. It can burrow into the intestines. Now, what's it doing? So one, it's trying to hide away from the stomach acid a little bit. It's creating inflammation. We know H. pylori increases chances of ulcers, right? We have increased ulcers. We have increased gut inflammation, right? We have increased gut inflammation with H. pylori. Now, one thing that's really important that's gonna do is also going to be decreasing HCL levels. This is important because when we start decreasing hydrochloric acid levels, it starts becoming harder, so decreased HCL, it starts becoming harder to break down protein. So now protein breakdown and mineral ionization stops, okay? Because we need protein, we need protein to build our neurotransmitters. So dopamine is made from tyrosine and phenylalanine. Serotonin is made from tryptophan. Um, our catecholamines are made from tyrosine. Um, GABA is made from different amino acids like theanine. So a lot of the amino acids that run our, our neurotransmitter kind of energy systems, they're made from protein. So if we have issues with HCL, that can definitely impact that. And also, that's gonna cause decreased protein, like I mentioned. It's gonna cause decreased minerals. And minerals are important because they kind of have a tranquilizing effect. So potassium, really important for relaxation. Um, magnesium, really important for relaxation. More magnesium, more relaxation, but both potassium and magnesium are important for blood pressure, your heart, your adrenals. So we need good minerals and we need good digestion to do it. And hydrochloric acid kind of activates that whole domino chain. So we need HCL. That's kind of the first domino. When that falls, that, that activates enzymes. Okay, that needs to fall. And that also then activates your pancreas, which produces more lipase. And that then also activates your gallbladder which produces more bile and helps you break down fat. So the next component is fat-soluble vitamins. Very, very important next step. So that's more happening in the small intestine, but you can see the next step would be the small intestine and that healthy bile production, which then helps absorb fat. And also, guess what? Bile is antibacterial. So bile also allows it let's say makes it harder for bacterial overgrowth and SIBO to occur. So of course, when you start to have H. pylori, it could start creating SIBO issues as well, right? So you can see. So how do you address H. pylori at the root cause? So number one is you have to cut the inflammation down with your food as well. A lot of people, we're kinda in this antibiotic age where, oh, you have an infection, oh, it's strep throat, it's staph, here's an antibiotic. They don't look at how that infection came to be. So with H. pylori, we have to address the food issue, right? Cut out the inflammatory foods that could be leading to that. Once you have H. pylori, number two, you have to, you know, you have to address the food. You have to look at your partner because you could have the infection, but then you could be hot potato in the infection back with your partner because it can be spread via saliva it's pretty easily. Okay, you have to fix digestion. 
So when your hydrochloric acid and enzymes are off, it's digestive symptoms start to spiral out of control, so bloating and gas, etc. And then of course, then we have the um, digestion absorption, then we have your immune system, right? And it just depends upon how long your immune system has been stressed. Because your immune system is gonna get worse the more you have a leaky gut, the more you have a leaky gut, that's gonna play a role. The more you have like, let's say Hashimoto's or, or thyroid issues, Hashimoto's plays a role. And then also adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue also plays a big role as well. So we have Hashimoto's, adrenal fatigue, leaky gut, and then of course mitochondria because guess what? We need healthy B vitamins. We need to absorb a lot of our nutrients to run our mitochondrial pathways. So now our mitochondria is impaired as well. So you can see how different systems get affected. Now, you may be able to come in and just address the H. pylori and maybe things get better. It's very possible. The more chronic something has been or the more, more sick you are, the longer things have been going on, you have to address things in the right order. So in my functional medicine world, how I, how I operate with patients that I see worldwide all over the world, because I see patients virtually, is we're getting the diet right. We're looking at body system one. So adrenals, thyroid, female hormones, or adrenals, thyroid, male hormones. We're looking at digestion. We're looking at inflammation. We're testing organic acids to look at the mitochondrial function. And we're also not assuming that it's just H. pylori. It could be other infections too, SIBO, yeast issues, parasite issues. We have to look at the whole thing together. So if you guys wanna dive in deeper, if you have an issue like this that resonates, click down below. You can schedule the consult with my staff and or myself. And if you enjoyed the content, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to get access to great new content coming your way. All right, y'all have a phenomenal day. Take care, bye.